Hello and welcome to this Photoshop halftone effect tutorial. We're going to be looking at how to do halftone in Photoshop. So there are three methods we are going to cover and the first method involves the filter gallery which sits under the filter menu in the top. So assume you have your base image already uh, selected and open, click filter, then go to filter gallery, and you are provided with a bunch of options, but we are, all, we are going to go under sketch, expand sketch, and you'll find halftone pattern in here. This is the halftone pattern effect that is found in Photoshop. I'm clicking on it will provide a preview and on the right hand side there are some options to increase and reduce the size of the dots and of course the contrast and the pattern type you can do circle line and dot but of course dot is the most common if I click OK that will apply that effect to the image it's simple as that the halftone image that gets generated is based on the foreground and background colors you have already uh, selected I'm going to undo because I'm going to show you the second method. For method two, first we want to make the image grayscale, then we want to apply a bitmap halftone effect. So, image mode grayscale, that's the first step. Second, we go to image mode bitmap, and from the method drop down, you can select halftone screen. There's three dots there, which mean there will be another dialog box if we click OK. We click OK and another dialog box comes up. Here we can again specify the shape of the halftone effect. Again, the most common is round. We click OK and that creates that effect. Method three. For method three, again, it is under the filter, filter menu. However, we are going to this one is going to be a little bit different because there will be some color applied to it this time. So I'm going to undo to the point where there was the color image. So we go to filter, then we go to pixelate this time, and there is the color halftone effect. So this is specifically halftone, but with color. If I click OK, I've made all of these 45 and the radius 5. Click OK, and there it is, the halftone effect, but there is a little bit of color there, so you can still see the original colors of the original image. We're going to click undo. You can create your own halftone texture. We're going to create two textures, one gradient and one solid color. So we're going to create a new canvas, uh, 1200 width, 800 height. That'll give us a nice size uh, landscape uh, canvas where we can add our layers. First thing we're going to do, going to do is um, we're going to pick a middle gray and we're going to layer with that middle gray as you can see and then we're going to apply the color halftone effect and that creates a very consistent texture like that that's the halftone texture that is very consistent based on one solid color now we're going to create a new layer and call that halftone texture too this will utilize the gradient so what we want to do is create a gradient and we're going to uh, use the foreground and background colors. We're going to create use gray for the foreground and white for the background. And once you create the gradient as such, we can then go filter pixelate and color halftone again as before, but the effect is now different. It is uh, like this. I hope uh, you have learned something, a very easy to do effect, that is the halftone in Photoshop effect. It is very easy to do and it can um, produce wonderful effects with very little ease and minimal effort. Thank you for watching. Um, below the video there are links to content, textures and information. Please have a look through the details below. Thank you very much for watching.